Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make an anvil. So let's put a cube down. Let's move it to the absolute origin. It looks pretty good. We can adjust the size later. And we're going to use edge insert to make new geometry. And I'll show you how it works. You hover over an edge. And when you click on it and hold down, you see the orange thing and it snaps to the middle. So you double and click and snap to the middle. Click and hold and snap to the middle. Click, snap to the middle. Click, snap to the middle. All right, let's go to Polygon. Select the bottom, Control, click the other one. We're going to move it all the way up like that. Unselect everything by clicking in the plane. We're going to select that one and extract it. And so we have a new one and we can select it. Now we have the polygon of the new one and we're going to scale it. Let's scale it a, a bit a little bit and this one a little bit. And while it's still selected, extrude it down. So we're trying to make a foot here. And let's go to edge fill to fill in the the top. Let's mirror it over the Z to give the other one a foot. So you go to Objects, Mirror, and over the Z. All right. And I made it separa separate objects so that you can color them differently. Let's do some more uh, edge insert in the original one. So click and hold and we're gonna drag it down a little bit like that and when I look at it it's I think it, the whole model is a little a bit too wide so go to object shift select everything and scale it down just a little bit like that is better go back to the cube and polygon Click this polygon and extract it. I want to make a separate model again. S grab that one from the new model and extrude it like that. Click in the plane to deselect edge. Grab the lower one and move it all the way up all the way like that then s click in the plane to deselect go back to polygons select the polygon scale it all the way down Oop, like that now is also the time to Make it a little bit larger if you want, like that, to make, uh, you can see the proportions better. Okay, let's put a square hole in this one. So we do create, cube, and we need a tiny one. And we want the sides, we want it to be square. This one is not square, 28, 26. And the way to make it square is you go to scale, and let's make it 28 and 28 and leave this one alone and it will just adjust the two of them and when you go back now it's 28 28 let's move it to the absolute origin let's make it a little bit taller and we're gonna move it and we're gonna move it like that so it's just next to the foot. 
can see if it's too big it might be a little bit too big and you can scale it reset you can scale it with a percentage how about 95 okay that looks good then grab the horn and control click that one subtract okay let's make the other side so we go and this time we create a cylinder put it down let's move it to the absolute origin and let's scale it so grab the blue one to go in two directions make it about the same as the width and then let's move it over And look at the size it's probably a little bit less in height that would be good like that go to polygons select the top one and we're going to scale it again with the blue one which does it in two directions like that and now is the time to make the proper horn for an anvil by moving the top well, still select it, zoom in, and bevel it. Do it pretty far down. Deselect, select the topo again, and bevel it again. And deselect, and this time you want to be close. Select the top and bevel it again. And when you go too far, it will create funny geometry, so be careful. Okay, objects. We want to rotate it. Rotate it around the Z90. Let's uh, rotate a little bit more. There we go. That's it. Move it. And this is the time to adjust the size if you don't uh, like the size. So we set this, make it a little bit longer, maybe like that. Move it back. And you want to move pretty precisely. And the way you do that is by using relative. And we want to move it to the left, so we want to do minus one here. And then we just move it over till you're happy with it. And that's a little bit too far, and you just do undo and undo, and that is too much, so there you go. And the same for the height, reset, and let's see how the height is, it's a little bit too high, so you do minus one here, and you drag it down like that, you can see it's still too much, that is good. Let's go to create and drill a circular hole in this one, so we need a tiny cylinder, move it to the absolute origin make it a little bit taller and let's move it in position so same thing again it has to be just outside the foot and the width looks pretty good so select the horn control click the cylinder and subtract let's give everything some color so let's make this really light and model apply and then select the other things that you want to give the same color 
and with all four of them you apply the same color again. Now go to the main body and we want to get rid of some of the geometry so let's optimize it. Makes it a little bit cleaner. We want to go to polygon and put in some geometry in the top one. Like that. Go back to object and let's color it. Let's give it a dark color. And go back here and look at these. These are 217, 217. Go back to this one, polygon, and select that and give it the same light color. Well, there you go, anvil. It's a nice modern looking anvil designed, more designed by an artist, could be in a museum. Okay, thanks for watching. You can watch more tutorials at figaro.io.